what is going on everybody tech enthusiast here and in this video we're going to be doing an emulation test on the asus rog ally so i've got a whole load of consoles to go through the first one is dreamcast and i'm using the redream emulator and currently due to amd drivers there are some artifacts but hopefully that should be fixed very soon now the reason i chose this emulator is because the ui is very good it's easy to use it's got a lot of features like built-in cheats as well as resolution upscaling for 3d games next we have street fighter alpha 3 again for the dreamcast and this is running on 10 watts and honestly i think if we were to able to get it to 5 watts this game will play perfectly fine now having said that the d-pad isn't the greatest for beat em up games but you can sort of get by Here we have Nintendo 3DS with Citra emulator. This is Pokemon Ultra Sun running at four times the internal resolution, just under 1080p, and this is on 10 watts. Now you can bump it up to five times to go just over 1080p, but you will have to go to 15 watts. Next we have Donkey Kong Country Returns and again this is running at 4 times internal resolution. Next we have Xbox Emulation with Zimu, this is Halo 1 and this is running at 3 times the internal resolution and it runs perfectly smooth. Again on the Xbox, Jet Set Radio, this is with 3 times internal resolution and this is at 15 watts. Next we have PS2 with PCSX2, this is Ratchet and Clank running at 1080p at 10 watts although it's hitting just under 15 watts and it is playing fine. Next is black for the PS2, this is with a widescreen patch as well as a 60fps patch. This is on 15 watts with very minimal frame dips. If you haven't played this game, definitely give it a try, it is very underrated. Next is GameCube with Dolphin Emulator, this is F-Zero GX at 1080p, I have set it to 10 watts however it's pulling just under 15 watts, there are some random frame dips but nothing major. Next is Super Mario Sunburn which is a mod for Super Mario Sunshine, again this is running at 1080p. I have two cheats enabled, widescreen and 60fps so you will have to enable 15 watts. Now if you were to play this game without the 60fps cheat then you should be able to play it at 10 watts. Now I have also uploaded a longer version of this game on my second channel. Moving on to the Wii, this is Super Mario Galaxy 2, this is running at 3x internal resolution, so 1080p, this is running at 10 watts and I'm surprised at how well it is playing. <laughs> Wow. 
Next is Tatsunoko vs Capcom, again 1080p at 10 watts. However, you may notice frame dips, and that's because this game can get quite intensive, so it is probably better to play at 15 watts. But you might see some frame dips, however, it won't be that bad. <laughs> Now if any of you were wondering if Goldana HD runs on the ROG Ally because it doesn't on the Steam Deck, well it does and here you can see it and again I have a longer gameplay on my second channel. Moving on to slightly more powerful systems, this is PS3 with RPCS3, this is Skate 3, I have it running at 15 watts at 720p but it's pulling just about 20 watts. Next is Ratchet and Clank, again running at 15 watts. There are some frame discs when there's heavy action scenes, but it is generally very playable. I am playing it unplugged, however if you play at 25 watts, the performance will be a lot better, however the battery will take a bigger hit. Next is Wii U with Semu Emulator. This is New Super Mario Bros Wii U. This is running at 1080p at 10 watts and I'm very impressed at how good it runs but having said that this is level dependent. In different levels you may notice some frame dips but it is very playable. And lastly we have Switch with Yuzu, this is the early access version and I have set it to 15 watts and as you can see it is just hitting under 20 watts and so far it is playing quite good. Again there are some random frame dips and that's probably due to the shader caches being built. Okay so that should do it for this emulation video and so far I am very impressed with what I'm seeing and hopefully the performance will improve with future BIOS updates and emulator updates. Now if you want to see more emulation videos, I will be uploading a lot of videos on my second channel and you will find a link in the description or in the comments. Now if you have found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. If you are new here then please do consider subscribing as I have more videos coming up so make sure you hit that bell icon so you get notified as soon as I release my videos. Please do follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And like always, thanks for watching and I will catch up with you in the next video.